All right, let's have a little laugh. Someone sent me a message asking advice on a specific topic in her relationship. It was a question about timing. How long should she wait before she... Let me put it to you this way. This girl says she hasn't passed gas in two years of their relationship. Now, I'm assuming she means in front of him or else she's a walking time bomb. Well, I want to point out to you, dear, that one of the most intimate acts you can do in front of your significant other is passing gas. Now, look, I see your concern. I know, I know, the shock and the horror. Look, we all do it, regardless of race, national origin, political affiliation, or gender. I'm sure your mama told you that little girls don't do that, but she lied. They do. About 14 times a day, to be exact. Now, this girl wanted to know how long she should wait before she could fart in front of her boyfriend. <laughs> Look, when it comes to your relationship, darling, nothing says I want you to be permanently in my life like leaning to one side and letting go of all that torments your bowels and telling that person who's stolen your affections, this is my scent, learn it, know it. Let her rip, tater chip, no one needs that kind of pressure in their life. Call in the geese, uncork that Mexican jet propulsion, rebuild the ozone layer, baby. Now look, I know some of you are reeling at the unbelief that the idea your body has this capability or that one such as myself would be so bold as to discuss this in an open forum. But before you dismiss me as juvenile, I'll remind you the great Benjamin Franklin said, fart proudly, and they put his ugly mug on a hundred dollar bill. I got aspirations. Look, sugar, I'm trying to help you get past the pretentiousness and onto your true love. You're welcome. What marriage is complete without the occasional Dutch oven? My wife did it to me last night. I threw up. We laughed and laughed. She's not a pooter or a tooter either. She doesn't break wind or burp out the wrong end. Y'all ever see that movie Backdraft where the houses blow up? Horton, here's a poo. She gets insane into methane. <laughs> I'm like, baby, you might want to run in there and check yourself after that. But I love her through it all. Sometimes we get in the tub and create a poor man's jacuzzi. I mean, come on. Don't get embarrassed by the random act of the digestive tract. Be a lean, mean, bean machine. I'm not asking you to release the finless mud shark. I'm just saying take the pretentiousness out of your relationship and let go of the tension by backing right up onto her leg in the bed and playing that O-ring oboe. He who tooteth not his own horn remains in a perpetual state of untootedness. So split the scene, my friend, and let Polly out of jail. I love y'all. God bless, and I hope it helps. Here's a Facebook poke. <laughs>